Here comes the sun. Oh, but on the poop emoji threw me off. All right, that's obviously Ice Ice Baby. Yes, I applaud this. So Apple recently announced that there are nearly 400 new emojis that have been released for the newest phone update. Okay, that's too many emo- How many more emojis can they make? I saw some of them already being memed, which is like, the greatest thing in the world. So for those that don't know, emojis are graphic symbols and smileys that are commonly used in text messages okay. uh, and are used to help communicate online. I see them on Facebook. They're funny faces. I don't know the purpose. So next up, we are going to show you some of these new emojis and see what you think. Okay. Man, the most frustrating thing for me is when I'll send like this detailed text message to my wife and she'll just send a thumbs up. And I'm like, that's it? That's all? Now, a lot of new animals, skunks, dogs. I'm down for the sloth. That's like already my favorite. Look at the little otter. Ah, I love otters so much. They're so cute. This is so cute. They even have, oh, I love this, service dogs. Oh, nice. They have people with wheelchair. They have, um prosthetic arms and the prosthetic legs, hearing aids. I'm pretty sure that's like the deaf emoji. Interesting that someone in a wheelchair or someone blind, I mean, I hope they're not using that as humorous responses for someone who's handicapped or, you know, challenged in some way. Oh, these are definitely, this is good. This is about uh, disabled citizens. It's important. People are people, they have challenges, no big deal. A blood drop, nice, I like that. Oh, I love the axe, the shining, I love that, I love it, I love it. We needed that for Halloween. Waffle, finally! Okay, I was literally, I had chicken and waffles the other day and I was putting it on my Instagram story and I was like, there's no waffle emoji. A lot of new foods, some falafel. You love falafel. Ooh, I like the stethoscope. They finally made one for doctors, you know what I mean? Instead of that cheesy, like, little doctor dude that, you know, no, the stethoscope. That's pretty cool. The guy with the with the parachute. I mean, coming in for a land, what, when would, when would you use that? Is that skydiving emoji? Yeah. Um, I mean, I want to go skydiving. I could send an emoji to my friend and be like, just send that. And like, okay, so you want to go skydiving, cool. So as you just saw, many of the added emojis included new foods, animals, and also prosthetic limbs and other disability related emojis. But another talked about addition is Apple's gender neutral option for nearly every human emoji. Mm. I saw it on Twitter and I saw a couple of the people and I was like, whoa. I could see it as a female or a male. So this is to include those who don't conform to either a male or a female gender. So here are some of those to show you. That's really good. Yes, I applaud this. I applaud this a lot. I think it's really nice. Um, I know someone who's gender neutral and I think it's really good that you're including them in this kind of stuff and new technology. Someone's gonna be outraged. It always happens, you know what I mean? Um, but. Here's the thing, if it's not for you, don't use it. It's all kind of bizarre to someone my age at this point, but uh, it's, you know, whatever, if, if it gives someone to something they can identify with and relate to what they're feeling as a person, then great. To each his own, I'm not sure. Maybe the message is, accept me as I am. I'm in the, I'm just a person. Like I'll send it like the, this emoji, and it's a female, but someone who doesn't, who doesn't say like they're female or male, they, they might not feel comfortable to use like either one. But like now that they have this option, then they're like, oh, wow, like this, this actually makes me feel happy. <laughs> and I can actually use an emoji. So now that you have seen a few of these additions, we're gonna play a little game that will test your emoji knowledge. Oh God. What? How? So we're going to be showing you some popular song lyrics and those will be turned into emojis and you're going to have to see if you can correctly decipher what the song is. Oh dear. Okay. What? This is 
harder than I thought it was gonna be. Uh, something comes, sun, poop, 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 poop. Here comes sun, poop, sun. Here comes the sun. Oh, but on the poop emoji threw me off, but it was like, da 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 da. Here comes the sun, da 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 da, do 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 do. Oh, from the Beatles, I love that song. It's like, here comes the sun, doo 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 doo. Yep, that's okay. clever. What? I have no idea. I want to just say sh 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 Here is the answer. <laughs> here comes the sun, doo 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 doo. Ah, oh, man, bro. Ah. Oh. oh my gosh, yeah, I didn't even, yeah, to see it in an emoji. I wasn't even thinking. What song has poop in it? Oh, wow. All right, all right. Let's see if I do better in the next one. Ice, ice, angel. Ice cream, ice, ice, angel. Oh, oh, wait. Oh, ice, ice, baby. Do, 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 do. <laughs> ice, ice, baby. All right, that's obviously Ice, Ice, Baby by um, Vanilla. Vanilla, um, he's like the most iconic white person in history. What's his name? Shoot, Vanilla, oh man, is it Vanilla Ice? It probably is Vanilla, yeah, it's Vanilla Ice. Ice Ice Baby, Vanilla Ice. This one is... Ice Ice Baby, Ice Ice Baby. Oh, okay. Oh, I never heard of it. Yay, I did so good at that one. That one was really easy. I, DNA. Right spiral. <laughs> I DNA right squiggle holding up hand one hundred dog right paper. I got paper. I DNA. I DNA paper. Something about traveling. You saw something. You're writing. Maybe a goodbye song. Oh. <laughs> I just took a DNA test, turns out I'm a hundred percent dead even when I'm crying. Okay. I just took a DNA test, turns out I'm a hundred percent dead <laughs> What the hell? I have no idea. I'm probably gonna know it once I <laughs> once you tell me and I I don't know right now. So here are the actual lyrics. I just took a DNA test, turns out I'm 100%. Oh, I just heard this the other day, like for the first time. I yeah, that one, never heard of it. Would have never got that one. Oh my God, no, it's not. I just took a DNA test. I'm 100% that bitch. Oh, this is so, I can't. <laughs> I got one and all you need is one point. From there you can build your lead. So I'm happy with my one point. So reports have shown that there are now over 3000 emojis available for us to use. And if we compare that to 2010, there are only 625 emojis. Wow. That's insane. We're curious since today we have all the generations in. Do you use emojis at all? I use emojis a lot. I use it in text messages to get my point across so people can understand what I'm actually trying to say. But I'm on Facebook. I'll write uh, somebody a little note and they respond as happy face, sad face, tears, you know. I mainly only use like the laughing emoji and like the shrug emoji and the face palm emoji because my friends, they make me face palm. It's kind of hard to get things across when you're typing it out. So you have to use emojis. I literally knew a person that broke up with their girlfriend by just sending the cowboy emoji. Like, I'm not. Like, they, like the girl wrote a whole paragraph and then he was like, cowboy emoji. And I was like. <laughs> so recently it was announced that the peach and the eggplant emojis are being banned across social media networks like Facebook and Instagram. So oh. why do you think they would want to ban fruit emojis? Censorship, man, like, come on. The, like some emojis have taken on different meanings. A lot of the adults are starting to catch up and they're starting to kind of realize that it's not just a peach anymore or it's not just an eggplant. There might be a sexual connotation, I'm thinking. The way the peach looks and the curvature and then the eggplant looking, you know, like a male's organ. Sorry. People are just so worried. They waste so much time worrying about stuff that's unimportant. People are just gonna find something else. They always do. Since there's more emojis too, the people are gonna like find stuff 
other things other than a peach and an eggplant. <laughs> Come on. So there's a company called Unicode Consortium, which is a nonprofit organization, and it's responsible for designing these new emojis. So if you could talk to the researchers and help design a new emoji, what emoji do you think that they should create for something that currently doesn't exist? Hmm. Well, I'm not totally sure if this exists or not, but from what I've seen so far, I haven't seen a meatball emoji. I would need someone that's like skirt skirting on like the freeway, like going really fast, because that's usually what my life consists of when I'm late to everything. A walker with tennis balls on the on the, on the legs, just to indicate that I feel old. Like that would be hilarious. Clams, but they have oyster on there, so that's close enough. Now. I guess everything that I need is on there. So Oxford Dictionary actually named the face with the tears of joy. It's like a laughing, crying emoji. Yes, I've seen that. They named that in 2015 the word of the year. Do tell. And there's been reports that showing that the Emojipedia website, which catalogs all the emojis, is viewed over 30 million times per month. What? Oh my gosh. Do you think that some emotions are easier to convey with emojis or do you think they're easier to convey with words? Um, I think some, well, I think most emotions are easier to convey with emojis because those are the general emotions. Well, I feel like sometimes a lot of the times like emojis get kind of used the wrong way. So like we kind of lose the sight of what it actually means. I look at the message, I look at the words and the emojis, that's an after, thought, but a younger generation, I'm quite sure they would look at the emojis first and then read the message. It's a generational thing. So finally, what kind of emoji do you think is most used by your generation? Um, for sure, the peach and the eggplant. <laughs> I want to say the cry laughing emoji because everyone's always laughing. The smile, the smile. Most seniors look on the brighter side of things because we have so few years left in our life, so we don't want to get pent up in looking at negative things. Probably the poop emoji. A lot of friends of mine just do the poop emoji a million times for no good reason because comedy. Yeah, comedy gold. Thanks for watching this episode of Generations React, and shout out to Randomizer. Subscribe and hit the bell so you never miss an episode. See you next time. Hey everyone, Lauren Producey here at FBE. Thank you so much for watching this episode. Make sure you hit the little bell icon so you get notified every single time that we upload a new video, and we'll be in the comments for the first 30 minutes every time we release an episode. Bye everyone.